Hi everyone, it's Chris again. Just two weeks after I've released my last video about the 13600K, AMD released the 7800 with X3D cache and it's safe to say that I'm blown away by the gaming performance. I have to admit it, I wasn't expecting this. In this video I'll be sharing my impressions and benchmark results against the 13600K and of course this is also a Hackintosh build. For the motherboard I chose the ASRock B65M Riptide, which has all the features you would want in a board, plus it's relatively inexpensive at just 180 euros. The only downside is that it doesn't come with a Wi-Fi card installed. Now let's get into the benchmarks. As a sim racer I was particularly interested in how the 7800X3D would perform in games like iRacing, ACC and Automobilista 2. In ACC I saw a natural difference between the two CPUs with the Intel 13600K getting 268 FPS and the AMD getting 272 FPS. In iRacing the AMD performed better with 253 frames compared to the Intel 238 frames. In Automobilista 2 the difference was much bigger with the Intel CPU getting 270 FPS and the AMD a stunning 371 FPS. In F122 the 13600K pulled 309 FPS whereas the AMD pulled 321 frames in the in-game benchmark. Moving on to other games. In Valorant the AMD CPU performed exceptionally well, passing even the 1000 FPS mark compared to the 887 FPS by the Intel. In Red Dead Redemption 2 both CPUs performed equally well with 121 frames. In Cyberpunk the difference was minimal with the AMD achieving 150 compared to the Intel's 147 frames. Finally in The Last of Us both CPUs were neck and neck with the AMD achieving 100 and the Intel 98 FPS. However when it comes to Flight Simulator the difference is massive with the AMD CPU achieving 96 FPS in the Intel only 71. Averaging all games, the AMD CPU is around 12% faster than the Intel CPU. I expect that the 13700K is much closer to the AMD CPU. Now let's move on to the synthetic benchmarks. In 3DMark Firestrike Extreme, the AMD achieved 27,000 points, whereas the Intel got 26,530 points. In TimeSpy, surprisingly the Intel performed better with 21,000 points compared to the only 20,000 points achieved by AMD. In Geekbench 6, the Intel was better in single and multi-core performance. Here you can see that the higher core count of the Intel makes a difference, but it's not a huge difference. Moving on to power consumption. On idle in the balanced energy profile the Intel surprisingly was better and consumed only 62 watts total system power while the AMD consumed 75 watts. I don't know why it is like that because I saw other tests where the AMD was also more efficient in idle but the difference is not so much. And when it comes to gaming the whole picture is different. In ACC I measured 525 watts on the Intel while the AMD only required 456 watts in the same scenario. Typically with the AMD I saw the power consumption mostly around 350 to 420 watts and on the Intel more towards 500 watts. So in conclusion which one is better? If you want the fastest gaming CPU the 7800X3D is the way to go. But the 13600 and 700K are also very good in gaming and better for multi-threaded applications and productive work. So Intel would still be my choice if gaming is secondary and video editing or productive work especially with the Adobe apps is your main focus. In the end I decided myself to keep the AMD. Gaming is my main and in the productive work I am doing, mainly video editing, I couldn't tell the difference. Video editing on the AMD for me was equally smooth as on the Intel. Also I like the AM5 platform, it is very new and will be supported for the next couple of years, so future upgrades are possible and easier with the AM5. When it comes to Hackintoshing, Intel is naturally better supported by macOS. I have read that AMD Hackintoshes still have some issues with audio applications and with the Adobe suite. 
But to be honest with you, I didn't notice any difference. In fact, this whole video was edited in DaVinci Resolve on my AMD Hackintosh. I couldn't tell a difference and I had no issues. However, if Hackintoshing and productive work are important to you, stick with Intel and buy the 13600 or 13700K to be on the safe side. Lastly, I have already uploaded my Hackintosh EFI 47800X3D on GitHub. Links to it are in the description below. So that's it from my side and as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!